to the Hughes Optioneering Weekly Workshop, where we scientifically engineer trades for greater profit potential. This is the disclaimer slide. You can pause to read it. We're going to move on. Today we're going to look at ELF, E-L-F, or ELF Beauty Inc. ELF is a cosmetic company. Here's the barchart.com technical opinion rating for ELF. The bar chart rating is a 100% buy with a strongest short-term outlook on maintaining the current direction. Long-term indicators fully support a continuation of the trend. According to Prime Trade Select rules, a stock is in a bull trend on a monthly basis if the stock price is above the 10-period or 10-month simple moving average. The monthly chart shows that ELF is well above the moving average line, so the monthly trend in ELF is up. Now we're going to look at the daily chart. A stock is in a bull trend on a daily basis if the 50-period or 50-day exponential moving average is above the 100-day exponential moving average. The blue line is the 50-day EMA line, and the green line is the 100-day EMA line. The blue line crossed back above the green line in November, so the daily trend in ELF is up. Next, we're going to look at a daily chart that displays the Keltner channel. As a rule, we don't want to buy calls if the stock price is above the upper Keltner channel line. Anywhere inside the Keltner channel or even below the Keltner channel is fine. ELF is below the upper Keltner channel line, so ELF is inside the buy zone. Since the trend is up, we want to buy a call. ELF has plenty of option chains to choose from. We're going to use the March 15 option chain. Right now, the March 15 options have 27 days to expiration. Here's most of the ELF option chain for March 15. ELF closed at 173.98 on Friday. That means any calls on the list from 80 to 170 are in the money. Let's take a look at the profit potential for purchasing the 175 strike call, which is the closest strike to the current price of the stock. The bid ask spread for the 175 call is 920 to 940. We try to enter at the midpoint, so we'll use 930 as the buy price. Our call option calculator shows the profit potential for this call based on ELF price changes at option expiration from flat to a 12.5% increase in price. We can see that if the ELF stock price is flat at 173.98 at option expiration, the 175 call will lose 100% of its value. Ouch! This is an unacceptable risk. That kind of loss can wipe out a trading account in a hurry. We developed what we call the 1% rule to help us avoid this kind of risk. The 1% rule says to limit the time value portion of the option we buy to 1% of the stock price. That means the stock only has to move up 1% for the call option we purchase to break even and start profiting. Now let's take a look at buying the 155 strike call to see if it qualifies for the 1% rule. Here's the call option calculator picture for the 155 call. According to the 1% rule, we want the call to at least break even if the stock price is up 1%. The calculator picture shows that if the ELF stock price is up 1%, the 155 call will lose 6.9% of its value. We want that to be break even or better. So the 155 call does not meet our requirements. Let's see if the 140 call will work. The bid ask spread for the 140 call is 3380 to 3620. We tried to enter at the midpoint, so we'll use 35 even as the buy price. The 140 call works. If the ELF stock price is up 1%, the 140 call will make a 2.1% or $72 profit. That's better than break even. So the 140 call is the one we'll buy. The call option purchase calculator also shows that if the ELF stock price increases by 2.5%, the 140 call will make a 9.5% or $333 profit. If the ELF stock price increases by 5%, the 140 call will make a 21.9% or $768 profit. If the ELF stock price increases by 7.5%, the 140 call will make a 34.4% or $1,203 profit. The 10% and 
and 12.5% numbers are also displayed, you can see that the profits get better and better. And notice that if the ELF stock price does not make the expected move up and remains flat at expiration, the 140 call would only lose minus 2.9% or minus $103 minus $102 <laughs> compared to the minus 100% or minus $930 loss for the 175 strike call that we looked at earlier. Now we want to review a call option debit spread, aka a vertical call spread. For this spread, we want to buy to open the ELF March 15 expiration 155 strike call and sell to open the March 15 165 strike call. We're going to base our entry prices on the midpoint between the bid and ask prices. That means we'll buy the 155 call for 22.25 and sell the 165 call for 14.95. 22.25 minus 14.95 equals 730. So the entry price or debit cost for the spread is $730. The call option Spreader analysis calculated picture shows that the spread will make a 37% or $270 profit if the ELF stock price declines by 5%, remains flat, or increases in price when the options expire. If ELF is down 7.5% at expiration, the trade will lose 18.7% or minus $137. Creating the debit spread will allow us to collect a $1,495 cash credit to our brokerage account for the sale of the 165 call. As we said on the previous slide, this reduces the cost of entry the spread to $730. Here's a note regarding earnings reports. The next ELF earnings report is scheduled for May 7. Let's review the trades one more time. The first trade was a call purchase. It said to buy to open the ELF March 15 expiration 140 strike call for 35 even. That's $3,500. We also reviewed a spread. The spread said to buy to open the ELF March 15 155 strike call and sell to open the ELF March 15 expiration 165 strike call at a debit of $730. That's it for this week's Option Earning Workshop. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again next week.